and we're back this time i'm going to show you how to create a hard collage in photoshop i've got this folder with a couple of images i downloaded from unsplash you can find a link to unsplash in the description below just pick some images you want to have yourself and i've got a white background let's open a new layer then go to the custom shape tool and we will choose a hard shape there are two of them maybe even three I'll pick the one that is the hard card shape. Let's just give it a red color. Make sure you don't have a stroke and the shape is selected in the menu. Now we are good to go. What we want to do now is to center properly so press Ctrl A to select everything. I have to move to activate it and center it vertically and horizontally. We will now create rectangles. So let me open a new layer. We'll call it rectangles so that you know what is happening. I'll activate rectangle to use a yellow color. The color doesn't really matter here. And then I'll create random rectangles so that they overlap the heart shape. And that looks fine. I've got 10 rectangles and the original rectangles layer. Go to the first one, then hold shift and click on the last one to select them all. Then press ctrl G to group them. I'll rename it to rectangles. And now we give it the heart shape by holding ctrl and clicking on the heart layer. And then applying a layer mask to the rectangles folder. Within that folder we've got all of our rectangles and we now have to create clipping masks for each rectangle and a new image. I'm going to show you how it's done for the first one. I'll just drag one image above the first rectangle's layer and then create a clipping mask. Second image above the rectangle one layer, clipping mask once again. And I'll do so with every image from now on. I'm going to speed up this video as this is just a repetitive task you can easily recreate. So now we're done. We have every rectangle with, a, with an image and it is connected to it with a clipping mask. You can move the image itself around by selecting the layer or by having the move to activate it and then using auto select. Let's get rid of this folder, we don't need it anymore. If you want to move and resize the elements, you have to select the rectangle and the image at once, press Ctrl T and then you can resize it and move it around. If you only have the image selected, you will move the image only around within the given rectangle. You can put the rectangle with a clipped image on top of another one to reorder all of the collage elements. And this is basically what you should be doing now with every single element. I'm going to speed this up one more time as this is once again nothing new. And we're done with our collage. Once again, we've got a white background, we've got our heart shape that you should select. Then apply a layer mask to a folder that contains rectangles of random sizes. And then put images in that folder and clip to each rectangle a new image. You can use that process to create various shapes so it doesn't necessarily only have to be a heart shape. This is how it's done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.